is the Tommy Industrial 44 ton 6 foot press, model TI HB44 6. And it's equipped with a Dell DA41S CNC controller. And today I'm going to go over a brief demonstration of how to set up a program. Viewing the controller with the pump running, we now have five folders one, two, three, four, five. To set up our first program, we're going to want to arrow up into the top left and scroll over to the right. This column right here is the number program we're in. It goes from one to 100. N stands for how many bins per program. So you can have up to 25 bins for up to 100 programs. M is the material that we've selected. We've got that pre-programmed in, in the machine that material one is mild steel. This right here is the thickness. We're going to bend eighth inch material, 0.125. And one is the mold or the bottom die tool. This is selected in a different menu. Once we've set those things, we're going to want to arrow in and we're going to want to hit enter. Now we're into the program and we're into the first bend. If we had multiple bends, you'd see them listed here. But the first bend, we've got it at 90. We don't have anything set as far as a plus or minus because we haven't done a test bend. The ram is going to travel down this far. The back gauge is set at an inch and a half and we have a zero retract set. So we can set that once we reach our pinch point that it moves back 0.1 inches. That's always handy. This is our part count. And basically at this point, now we're ready to run this program. So if I press the green button, it's going to move the machine into their proper locations and it's ready for me to hit the foot pedal. Now this particular machine has three operating modes. One is going to be a jog mode. The second one's going to be a single mode, which is what we're running now. And a third is going to be continuous mode. For if you had a lot of pieces and you wanted the machine to keep cycling until it ran out of part count or it ran until you stopped it. Okay, we've got our eighth inch material and we've got our program running here. Our back heat is set at an inch and a half. We're gonna run the machine. And we can take a look at that. We've pretty much got 90 degrees. Now let's take a closer look at some of the other parameters that can be set in this controller. Now, our first folder we've already went through, that's inside of our program. Let's go to our second folder. That shows all of our tools. This is going to be the bottom die. We, as you can see, we have uh, multiple bottom dies in here. Actually, this is one bottom die with multiple openings. And before we use the tool bottom die number one, and as you can see here, the opening on that bottom die is 1.181 inches and the degree of the opening is 88 degrees and the radius is 0 0.02 inches. Now if we wanted to flip and use a different die, we'd want to make sure that we change this in our program. Going over to another folder, here we have some more settings. Let's go into this setting right here. This is going to be our material. We, we were using material one before and we had our settings set accordingly and you can change this in here to your specific needs. Going back, this setting right here is our hold time or our bending time. It's set to three seconds. That's when the top ram comes down and starts actually bending the material. It'll bend and produce pressure for three seconds. This is the re decompression time. The time after the bend stops, it'll hold it for two seconds. And this is the retract time for our fingers and it's set at one second. And you can go down this menu and adjust the color and the brightness of the screen. And you can also select between inch and millimeter in this screen. So let's go back up to the top again. And we'll go over to this folder. This shows you our actual positions of our X and our Y. And we can get in here and manually run these axis with the arrow keys here. Now the machine is actually turned off so the pump's not running at this stage. And finally, here's our last folder and this has our actual programs and 
our parameters in the program. Now let's take a look at the side panel of the machine. Here's the power panel of the machine. As you can see, we have a power indicator light. We have a power on and off key. This will allow you to turn the machine and not allow it to uh, the pump to start when the key is out, but it will still allow power to the machine and to the program. This is our pump start button, pump stop button. This is our mode selection. This would be jog mode. That'll only let the top ram travel down for aligning tooling and so forth. This is our single mode button, and this would be for continuous mode. And here is our ever-present emergency stop. This machine also does have a master lockout and trip reset. For more information on Tommy Industrial Press Brakes, give us a call or visit TommyIndustrial.com.